Uh, so Matt, welcome to New Zealand. Thank you. Nice to be here. Cyanide and Happiness, it's been going for nearly 10 years as a daily series. You know, that, that's a massive achievement. <laughs> it's... It's weird to think of it that way. It has been, I think we're just shy of like nine years now. And it, it's weird to think that we've been doing it that long because we, we started when we were in high school even. And it was just this stupid little hobby that we enjoyed making these dumb little comics. And then slowly but surely people started to take notice. And now this goofy little hobby has become a full-time job. And in, in one way it feels like it happened just yesterday because it's, been this enormous change, but at the same time, it also feels like it's been ages and ages and ages ago. It's very, it's, it's a very strange feeling to, to, to have something that you actually genuinely enjoy doing and you did purely because you enjoy doing it to become a, a job, which in a way kind of takes a little bit away from it because when something's a job, it's not so much just a labor of love anymore. But at the same time, we still really, really enjoy making butt jokes on the internet. Like, we get paid to make butt jokes. It's great. You know you've made it when you get paid to do that. Yeah, yeah, it's great. I can't... I, I remember growing up thinking, like, well, what would you want to do as a job? And I never actually had a specific job. I just knew that I didn't want to work for people because who wants to? And I have that and then some now. So it's, it's, it's not just that I have like this freedom to do what I want but it's also like a really fun creative outlet at the same time it's and then I get to come here and and see new countries and eat weird food and I'm gonna I'm gonna try Marmite one of these days. Oh, Marmite's fantastic. You know, people say Vegemite's better than Marmite, but I wouldn't believe them. We we were in Australia last weekend. I tried Vegemite. It was disgusting. But I'm going to I'm going to try Marmite. I'll I'll see which is worse cuz neither is going to be good. They're going to be both horrible, but I'll say like which one has the slightly less offensive taste. <laughs> what else what other sort of things are you looking forward to doing here while you're while you're in New Zealand? Uh, later today I'm going to go to Hobbiton, so there's that. Uh, it, it, it's weird because everyone that's coming to this convention, it's a, a group of like actual celebrities and actors and movie people and a bunch of us are going to be carted off in a bus to go see Hobbiton, and one of the guests is Billy Boyd, and I really, really want him to come and act like he's never seen any of this before, just be in awe of everything. He's like, well, this is where that one scene was made. Oh my God, just completely ham it up. I don't, I don't know if he'll, if he'll actually do that or not, but I would, I would cream my pants if he did. <laughs> Going back to the comic, you know, do you ever wake up one morning and think, oh, jeez, what am I gonna, what am I gonna draw? What am I gonna write today? Do you ever have that sort of writer's block with, to make butt jokes? Um, I mean, every once in a while it will get uh, blocked up, but it's very helpful because I work with three other guys. Like the four of us are able to cover uh, a daily comic fairly well. I, I know a lot of people that do daily comics by themselves, and that is just insane. But uh, amongst the four of us, it gives us a lot of leeway. Plus, we're able to bounce ideas off of each other. Uh, we've started uh, working on an animated series based on our cartoons. And that means that we are, since we all work all over the place, we're never in a, a single local area, we all are on Skype all day long. So we'll just bounce ideas back and forth uh, until someone's like, OK, that'll work, that'll work. OK, who else has something? It just, we have like one day of the week. I think we just do Comic Mondays, where we just try to figure out as many jokes as possible just to cover the next week. And then we can go back to show stuff. Fantastic. I mean, it sounds like a, a dream career to be doing this, you know, not to be stuck in an office, not to be, you know, dealing with facts and figures. You get to actually have a bit of a creative passion. Yeah, yeah. It's. I was walking, uh, I, I was invited to this thing at the YouTube studios in L.A., and I was walking past uh, the Fox building, and Fox is like, Simpsons, all sorts of, like, great animation, and we're walking past the building, and I'm looking inside, it's nothing but cubicles. And I realize even when you're working on something that is that like amazing and like such a great creative outlet, you're still working in a sea of cubicles. So I get to do the same thing without having that sort of, I guess, bland corporate pastiche covering everything. I get to work in my underwear in my home. It's it's great. <laughs> so it sounds like a pretty good career. What's the I guess the worst thing about the job though? Uh, Self-motivation. Uh, it's, it's great not having anyone on higher up telling you what to do or how to do your job, but that also means you have no one else like, keeping you to deadlines other than yourself. So 
figuring out how to be self-motivated, get get your stuff done when you need it to get done, and having all that weight on your own shoulders is, it's a little tough to deal with, especially when everything is just so laid back, but I think we've got a, a pretty good control of it so far. It's it, it's hard to, to, to really complain when your only real gripe is like, oh, I have to make myself work. Like, that's hardly, that's hardly a thing to, to complain about, but being able to like wake up in the morning and say, okay, I'm gonna get this much stuff done. You go out and do it, and then you, you're done for the day. And you're already at home, so you get to put pants on and then go outside. And it's, yeah, I can't, I can't really complain, to be honest. It's, it's, a pretty, it's a pretty fantastic gig we landed into. Well, I've got to say, it's great to have you in New Zealand. It's great to see that you've got pants on today. Um, but can, you, can you see that I have pants on? Well, I can, I don't think the camera can. <laughs> but um, uh, enjoy the expo and uh, enjoy your time in New Zealand and enjoy uh, seeing Billy Boyd at, uh, at Hobbiton. <laughs> Alrighty, thank you.